There is no way we would escape the holiday season without talking about this big bad rumor. It's gonna huff, it's gonna puff, it's gonna blow your house down because this could have changed the entire trajectory of the NHL. We're talking today about Jack Eichel, former second overall pick behind Connor McDavid and current Vegas Golden Knights superstar. Eichel was in the news for a good chunk of the past few years because, back when he was a Buffalo Sabre, there was an entire saga about this guy getting traded, about the Sabres not wanting him to do the surgery that he in particular wanted to do. It's kind of crazy because all this happened, what, like two, three years ago? It was a really big deal back when it was a thing. Michael, though, as a member of the Sabres, maxed out at 82 points in 77 games played. This is the kind of caliber of guy that he was in this time frame. Just a superstar stud, not really playing with much support because the Sabres, throughout the entirety of Eichel's time on the team, were not great. So, when we eventually saw Eichel get traded to the Vegas Golden Knights in a deal that saw the Sabres receiving players like Alex Tuck and Peyton Krebs in return, we all said it was a pretty good deal for Buffalo. They got a lot of stuff for a guy that they weren't using, and eventually the Golden Knights won the Stanley Cup with Eichel as a main contributor to their success. He had 66 points in 67 games played that year, and was over a point per game in the postseason, and now Eichel has 39 points in 35 games, on pace for around 91 for 2023. He's been a great player, and there's really no telling as to what the ceiling is for Eichel now, especially on a team that is as good as the Vegas Golden Knights are. He signed on till the end of 2026, making $10 million a year, and if he's able to produce as much as he has been while being just the total beast of an athlete that he is, there's no doubt Eichel is a franchise player for Vegas. Now, the reason we're making this video is because on a recent episode on the Empty Netters podcast, you had yourselves Jack Eichel make an appearance wherein some really interesting details were revealed. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go ahead and listen to the audio. It's from December 13th, 2023. It's episode 66. Here are some 6 a.m. campfires with Jack Eichel. Now, a portion of this interview was going viral on Twitter the other day after the episode got released. Because, in a clip posted by Dennis Weidman, Jack Eichel confirms on the Empty Netter show that it came down to the Calgary Flames and the Vegas Golden Knights when he requested a trade from Buffalo. Eichel, in the attached clip, pretty much details to the Empty Netters podcast that there were a bunch of Eastern teams in the mix, there were a bunch of teams that were trying to trade for him, and then you had to talk about the injuries and seeing who would be okay with the surgery and whatever, whatever. He goes out there and labels Minnesota, Carolina, Colorado, teams that are going out there and talking about it. But at the very end of the clip, he says himself that once the trade saga was nearing its conclusion, the final two teams that were there were the Calgary Flames and the Vegas Golden Knights. Now, if you wanted to go out there and think about, okay, Jack Eichel got traded to Vegas for a package that included Alex Tuck, you had Peyton Krebs in there, you had some picks, what could the Calgary Flames have sent over to Buffalo to make this work? Well, here's a tweet from the same Dennis Weidman reporting what Kevin Weeks said two years ago around this time. Kevin Weeks reported this is what the Flames offered the Sabres during that time span, for all asking, my understanding is the Flames have Kachuk, who is an upcoming potential future captain, an upcoming first-rounder, a former first-round pick, and two prospects in the Eichel sweepstakes with the Sabres. So, essentially what's going on here is that Jack Eichel was almost traded for a package that included Matthew Kachuk, a first-round pick, and then the way it's labeled here is weird because it says a former first-round pick and two prospects. Essentially, that means three prospects, right? Three prospects, but one of them is guaranteed to being a former first-round guy. So, I don't know who the Flames had in their pipeline around this time frame. In fact, let's just go out there and look at it. Flames, draft history, prospects. So, in 2021, that year, the Flames had drafted Matthew Coronado in the draft of the first round. He's been a pretty good prospect the entire time. The year beforehand, they have Connor Zari, who is a very good player right now. Zari has been awesome. They also had Jakob Pelche in the 2019 draft. So these are probably the names that would have been tossed over to Buffalo in an Eichel trade, a la the Peyton Krebs acquisition from Vegas. 
And then, of course, the superstar player coming back in Matthew Kachuk, changing the entire deal for what the Buffalo Sabres could have looked like. Not to say that Matthew Kachuk wouldn't have been effective for a Buffalo team that's getting him, but it would have changed the identity of the Sabres tenfold. Right now, Sabres fans love Alex Tuck. He's a homegrown guy, he loves being a Sabre, he has such great leadership qualities to his profile both on and off the ice. Sabres fans love this guy. Not to say that Matthew Kachuk isn't a leader himself, I mean his younger brother Brady's a captain in the NHL for crying out loud, but Matthew Kachuk isn't really the epitome of what it is that Alex Tuck represents on and off the ice. Not a homegrown guy, not a super likable personality on the ice. Matthew Kachuk is a pest, a big, just unadulterated pest that scores points and does so in an unrelenting fashion that complements his physical play. Not to say the Sabres fanbase wouldn't have appreciated that, but it's a lot different from what they have right now, and they seem to be pretty happy with that core. Now, you could talk about the way this team has progressed and how they're not winning games and how they suck this year, which is completely a different thing. I mean, you could be happy with the leadership core you have and still be disappointed with the results in your team. But when it comes to the Buffalo Sabres, this is a team that would have changed drastically had Matthew Kachuk been sent over instead of Tuck. Meanwhile, if you go over to the Calgary Flames, imagine what Jack Eichel would have been like if this guy played in Calgary. What would have changed between then and 2021? I mean, the Flames would have had one more season of Johnny Gaudreau. Do you think he sticks around? If Johnny Gaudreau is playing with Matthew Kachuk in 21-22, would he want to stay? Would he have instead accepted that 12-something million dollar deal with the Flames and played in Calgary for the rest of his days? Eichel and Gaudreau could have been a crazy good combination. You wouldn't have had to gone through this entire Huberto thing. You wouldn't have had to gone through this entire Nazem Kadri thing either in Calgary. Had the Vegas Golden Knights just pulled out at the last second and Calgary got the deal done instead, the entire timeline of eventual things with the Calgary Flames may have been changed forever. So for Jack Eichel, I mean, it is kind of shocking to hear him reveal himself on a podcast just two years after the trade that, yeah, Calgary was a finalist. Calgary was the finalist alongside of the Vegas Golden Knights. When it comes to that trade package, you want to talk about maybe a Coronado and a really good player like Kachuk, plus something else. Maybe that's a comparable package to what the Sabres got from Vegas. But if you're a fan of the Sabres, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about the idea of having acquired Matthew Kachuk instead of all the extra stuff you got from the Golden Knights? One thing's for sure, out of everything that has been tossed around there. I mean, the only player we have talked about in this video today who has had 100 points in a season was Matthew Kachuk. That's something that Jack Eichel has never done. Alex Tuck has never done that either. Peyton Krebs, probably never going to do that in his career. Matthew Kachuk is a top-of-the-line winger who, as we had talked about in a video a few days ago, is actually struggling pretty hard. But if you assume that his 100-point form would have carried over into Buffalo, imagine that, eh? Matthew Kachuk and Tage Thompson playing on the same line, rounding itself out with a Zach Benson sometime down the road. Who really knows where things have gone had he just made that Matthew Kachuk trade? But either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this mind-blowing, huge, just opportunity missed for the Calgary Flames and Buffalo Sabres in getting that Eichel trade done. At the end of the day, the Sabres are still pretty not great right now. The Flames are meh too. And the Vegas Golden Knights have won a Stanley Cup championship with Eichel as the main guy. So really, out of all these teams involved, there's been one winner so far based off of the events that did happen. Let me know your thoughts in the comments as to how things could have gone if the other trade went down instead. I hope you enjoyed this Vrishra Shrosnayin. And bye.